I need more content. Well, all right then. Let's see here, what do we got? I need my G1 Transformers. No. They're too big for my setup anyway. Marvel Legends, I haven't done one of those yet. None of them seem to be calling to me right now. Ooh, how about my Master Grades? No, they're too big, just like all the masterpieces and transformers. Ooh, my high grades. Maybe another time. Shows. Those always work out for me. Let's see here. No. Hey, you. Mere Sonic. Hello, and welcome to what is probably my most extensive review yet. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Tomy Ultimate Classic Sonic. This boy comes with a lot of stuff. Anyway, let's get this started. Starting with the simpler of the few components in this uh, figure, we'll be talking about the base, which has some stuff rattling in that, but we will get to that in a moment. It's a nice base. Looks like a nice recreation of the 16-bit Green Hill Zone. Oh, nice. Well, the top comes off and it reveals a place where you can put all the accessories, which we will get into later. Now let's set that off to the side and pull out the main course okay so here we have the figure pretty much in the most basic setup the smiling face straight looking eyes and fists we will get into the other combinations of stuff later but yeah he's probably the best looking sonic action figure maybe ever because it's got the best likeness to classic sonic which is some people's preferred sonic now, I might stir up some hate, but honestly, my favorite Sonic is the modern Sonic. Doesn't take away from this figure, though. I still love this thing and am glad that I picked it up. No. It's got a nice light blue. It actually has some nice texture to it. I don't know what I'd call it, but it's like a silky smooth almost. No, he's got the round belly, his shoes and stuff, and even though... At, a, at the time, I preferred the Jazzwares figures, even though those started to dwindle in, uh, what would you say, quality near the end of the line. This guy blows them out of the water. Now, anyway, before we get into all his accessories, let's get into the articulation. He's got a swivel and side to side at the head. You can turn that side to side for an up and down. Which will go about that far. He's got a 360 at the arm. It can go up that far, down that far. He's got a little less than a 90 degree bend at the elbow, but honestly, I don't think that's much of a problem. And he's got a 360 at the elbow. He's got a loose piece for the wrist and a ball joint for the hands. For the waist, we got this lower piece, which, even though some people might not like it, is actually hidden pretty well because of the belly piece, and I like that. It can go 360, side to side, forward and back, about that much, and his legs go out that far, back that far, a little bit hindered by the tail. And a knee that's about the same as the uh, elbow and a foot on a ball joint. So anyway, let's get into why this figure is really good. The accessories. Now to make things easier, I'm actually going to pick up the camera so I can show you all the accessories from here. He's got... Four sets of eyes, not 
which you only see three here because I still have the pair on the figure. Same goes for the mouths and hands. So in total, you get eight hands, four mouths, four eyes, chili dog ring, a stand for the ring, a stand for Sonic, and the base. Cool thing is that you can mix mix and match these however you want. Doesn't matter. I'll show you a few possible combinations. And like that, we have one of the many possible combinations for Sonic's accessories. Sonic being distracted while eating a chili dog. Now this is one of my favorite poses. In fact, I actually had him posed up like that for a while. But I'm going to get him back in to the pose that I usually keep him in and finish up this review. So yeah, overall, I love this guy. If you can find him, get him. But do be cautious. From what I hear, there are some occasional... Uh, what's the word? Now I remember the word. It's quality control. There are a few quality control issues that come up from time to time. Like maybe a little bit of a splash of paint here or there. Not too bad. There's actually like a few spots on mine. Uh, predominantly in the feet where there's a little bit of overspray of white on the belt buckle. But no problem there. Like I said, if you can find them, get them. This has been my review of the Tomy Ultimate Classic Sonic.